Hey everyone, I'm Jessica. And I'm Kevin, and we're with Interstate Explorers. Today, we're going to install our washer into our Brinkley. All right, so let's go do it. We bought an LG all-in-one washer with a condenser dryer and today we are going to show you what it looks like in our Brinkley. We're going to first show you the issues we had with it and uh, how it's going. All right, so let's go look at the first thing here and as we walk in, the washing machine is 24 inches wide and this doorway is like 23.9 like inches so it's just a little bit too small the first thing that we had to do was we had to actually take the door frame off so if you see over here here's like the screws it's actually pretty simple to take the door off there's two screws here two screws down here and then two screws at the bottom um, our door right now is right here behind me and we'll re-put that back on. Um, taking off the door is gonna be probably a two-person job. Just wanted to hold the door because once you take the, um, the screws off, then uh, the door will kind of sag. So you wanna make sure somebody is there supporting it. Now, uh, walking over, the next thing we had to do is that here is where the washer dryer prep is. What this originally looks like is that obviously the washer is not here and then th this is where the dryer is supposed to go. This is going to be something for later. Um, there's a shelf right here and then there's also a shelf about halfway here. So those two shelves we had to take out. It's fairly simple to take them out. They just kind of pop out uh, but, but they are put in there pretty snug so you, you kind of have to fuss a little bit with them. I actually had to take off this door hinge right there to get this top one out. As you can see, the machine is running right now. It's just an empty cycle, so there's no clothes in there. We're just testing it out to make sure the water is running right, that it drains properly, and that it's using the right electricity. As you can see, we actually just hooked it up to an extension cord at our house because uh, we are parked in front and we're not hooked up to a 50 amp outlet, so we're just using our home electricity. And we decided to go with the LG because I have an LG machine at home and I really like the brand. I've had no issues with them in the past. And uh, typically though, um, RV companies like to use uh, this brand called Splendid. And that's also what Brinkley recommends. That's what the dimensions of this whole cabinet is for. Like that's what the top half for is supposed to fit for the dryer that is vented. And that's what this hole here is for is when if you cut a hole in your Brinkley, it leads the outside to put the vent in but we didn't for one want to go with cutting <laughs> into our Brinkley uh, so we went with um, a ventless dryer and I know there's drawbacks to it uh, the ventless dryers take about twice as long to dry but we're okay with that because it's just the two of us and so we don't have as much laundry as say a family and we'll just wash a load every day so it's really not too big of a deal and as long as we know that going in we're okay with that so I'm really happy with the purchase we were worried about this fitting in here but it looks like so far everything's going well now on the topic of fitting one thing is that these doors aren't gonna quite close all the way it gets close but it's not gonna latch right there and if we go to the very back there's just not really a lot of extra room so we're not gonna try and push this back while we're back here I'll show you this is where the washing machine hookups are right there so it's already comes pre-installed with that so what we're probably going to end up doing is we're going to probably just take these bottom doors off, just have this always be exposed, and we're going to put our shelf back in here and then probably turn this dryer area for now into more clothes storage because you can put the hanging uh, bar for clothing back up, and we're going to do that. Okay, and now that the washing machine is installed, here is what it looks like. So we've taken the doors off. The hinge, you can see there's the screw holes right there. This is just because this sticks out a little bit. And what we've done is we've put the bottom shelf back in here. We've put some shelf lining. And then um, what also we've done is we've put uh, some laundry materials right there. And then this is just our swimsuits and our towels. And there's a clothes bar in case you want to hang some clothes up there as well too. So I'll back up and this is what the final unit is going to look like. So we are very happy with it.
So what are your thoughts on having a washer in your RV? Is this something that you look forward to having or is that not really a big deal for you? And let us know what your thoughts are and what your thoughts are on getting the LG versus the Splendid. Let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe.